And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Next thing we want to do is grab the type tool. And there it is. Click, select the font impact, and font size of about 800 points, and then type in all caps eat fruit. Hit control enter to accept that. Now we're just going to uh, place it and resize it. Hit control T to get the free transform feature. Hit the shift key and the alt key to resize it from in proportion from the center. That looks good. Hit enter. Now what we want to do is we want to use this eat fruit text as a clipping mask for the rest of this layer down here. And to do that, go to the Layers palette. You want the Eat Fruit layer underneath the Fruit layer. Hit the Alt key and click. You get this little arrow. Click right between those two layers and voila. What you've done now is you've masked out all of that extra fruit and you're just looking through that Eat Fruit text to uh, as a window. You know what I mean, folks. And uh, that works out real nice. But it, we, we need to make it pop more. So what we're going to do is add some effects to the type layer. So make sure it's selected and then go to the effects menu and let's add a black stroke to it. Okay. Here we go. Right here. Hit the color chip. Select black. Increase the size of it. You can see it in the background here. Increase the size till you see something you like. And then hit OK. And that's much better. Zoom in a little bit and see how it looks. It looks good. Now keep in mind, let me zoom out a little bit. Keep in mind you can always select the fruit layer and then with the move tool selected, you can pan that thing around until you find just the fruits that you want to view. Okay? So play with that a while. You can also resize that layer however you want while you're still looking through the little eat fruit windows there. This is kind of a bulbous looking pear, so I kind of want to avoid looking at too much of that. But, uh, you know, it might just be unavoidable, folks. But uh, anyway, play with that, and I'll play with it, and I'll meet you back here for the next lesson.